Welcome back. This is M Dog. Sorry, I think we might have had a false start there. Hopefully, I didn't just say welcome back twice. But anyway, um, all right. So this is 2021-2022 leveling guide. We are well into this leveling guide. This is um, pretty far into it. If you are new, you may want to go back to earlier in the episode list, especially if you're just getting started here in Russian Fishing Four. Uh, one quick update, somebody was asking what was in our fake tench ground bait, you know, because we can't make real tench ground bait yet. Now, I'm not saying this is good. In fact, we've leveled up some since then, so we have more ingredients now, so I might even change it if I was making fresh fake tench ground bait, but this has worked some, so this is what's in it, just in case you were wondering that. But what are we fishing for right now? We're fishing for bream. And we actually have gotten to start here at the spot sort of before the ideal time of fishing. I wanted to really get a feel for how good this spot was going to be. Um, so let me go ahead and get these couple of fish in. I'm not sure if there's a fish on line one or if that's just I didn't tighten it probably. We are already getting pretty nice bream in, and again, it's early, so I am very hopeful about this spot. So, where are we? We're at 5142, which is right here. Now, we've tried several different bream spots, right? We've tried the one kind of over here. We, uh, in the last episode, we tried one across on the other side, down here, I believe, somewhere around G7, maybe. There's also another spot down further. I am uh, hopeful that this might be the best of these other spots um, other than the one that we've been using, which obviously has been really good. So we'll see how this goes in a full night of, uh, of bream fishing. We are at 17 meters and we're basically wanting to cast something like that, I think. Just kind of straight out across from here, southeast off the shore. Um, And yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're at 78 silver, almost right at 15 and a half in terms of level. So we'll be quarry eligible before you know it, but we still need to get quite a bit of gear to feel comfortable starting to troll at quarry. So we'll see how that goes. So let's see how we do here. Uh, we I did get a stream in earlier today, which was a lot of fun. Appreciate all the support. If you weren't able to join me live earlier today, I'm actually working on getting the replay of the stream uploaded to YouTube. I'm at least attempting to do that. I think it is going to work. Last time I streamed, for some reason it wasn't able to uh, to upload it, but I'm trying it again, and once it finishes processing, I'll go ahead and activate that in case you weren't able to join us live. But for this video, I think we're going to mostly just focus on Bream. I don't know if we'll do anything once Bream time is over, but I started early on the Bream spot, so it should still be a pretty good, nice little chunk of time here. And hopefully some decent silver. Wow, that's a... That's a fish and a half. This might be one of those two kilo plus. Can't quite tell. I'm trying to just manhandle it in now. Yeah, it's definitely a bream. And it's a pretty hefty one. Yeah, almost two and a half kilos there. Any bigger, and I think we would have had to let it tire itself out a little bit. So this was just a really good post um, on Russian Fishing 4, someone actually 
took some time to do some testing at different bream spots and it looked like for them this one might have been the best so mostly i'm going off of that i mean i ha did have people in my stream today talking about bream and oldberg and it seemed like this was the spot that the most people were talking about so i knew this is what we wanted to try but i appreciate the post i was trying to give credit to who posted that dima dima dubinin something like that but really good informative post and this is a common carp not a bream Oof. Not too many of those, please. So I think the the, uh, the order of these feeder rods is different than it typically is because I just put them in. At the end of the last stream, we did some float fishing, so I was still holding the... Um, the you know telescopic rods so let me quickly look at this with you so you can see where the different hook sizes are yeah this spot already seems fantastic doesn't it and it's just now getting to be bream time so the first one here has a size 8 hook the middle one has a size 4 so it looks like we're now in reverse order the larger one is the far right one which means the far left one is the weakest and shortest line. The other two have our upgraded line. A little bit more strength. Um, so we're getting a little bit more strength out of the second and third one, but not by much. I think the only way we could get in trouble on this one is if we hit a common carp that was a little big. We just don't have quite as much line on this one. So we're about 19 in-game in minutes away from starting what I would consider like real bream time. And we've already caught three over a kilo. So again, promising so far. We'll see if it holds up. Please be a bream and not a common carp. If it's a bream, it could be a nice one. kind of running like a carp right now isn't it maybe not but all right now it's kind of coming in maybe it is a bream yeah it looks like a bream to me It'll be interesting to see what size this is. Took us for a little bit of a run and then slowed down and allowed us to pull it right in. You see, he's still got a little strength. He's trying to pull left to right, but just can't quite stop the momentum now that we've got him coming in. Uh, this is where we're going to want one full size. Woo, 3.9. That is a beautiful one. 1500 XP. Good payday, that's a nice bream. And that is on the smallest hook. So far we've had some of the largest ones come in on the size eight hook versus the size four and size one. But it's probably just random at this point.
3.9. That's getting on up there. Still catching sort of an unusual amount of small ones, I'd say, since we're in full bream time now, but overall I'm still pretty optimistic. Let's back down that uh, Sorry about that. That bird is in my ear. Just glancing through real quick. There's just been, there were several posts recently. Mosquito, winding, old bird. There's been some good lower level posts lately on VK, which I appreciate. Yeah, I'm definitely liking the increased power of these of these Lacerti 2s going up to 5.5. We're able to pull them just right in. Uh, those, you know, 1 to 2 kilo bream aren't giving us near the trouble they were when we were at 4 kilo power. Does that sound like a good one? It's all right. Two point two. I've got to turn the like insect sound down further. It is piercing. I don't know if it's for you guys right now, but this spot must just be right near the noise cue for those insects.
This has been a nice solid bite rate so far. All right, so is it background? I might have turned it down a little bit. Whew. It's tough. Now we got the whip -a wheel going. All right, so what are we at here? Let's just look at Bream. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're hoping to get to at least between 12 and 18 over a kilo, which I don't think we'll have any problem hitting, which means if that's the case, this is a really legitimately good Bream spot. Now, some folks here at Old Berg are catching pike right now. Uh, I don't really know that we want to do that. I mean, if you can get set up and and reliably catch pike, it is a good way to make silver between just what pike are worth and the cafe orders. But you do kind of have to lean into the getting the right lures, steel leaders, and you also need a certain amount of strength just to get them in. But it's interesting, um, not only with bream, but pike are also... Hitting pretty good at Old Berg. So this will be another one over a kilo. Man, look at this bite rate too. It's pretty good. Yeah, get on this spot now. You know, this we might have a couple weeks or more of just really reliable silver from these bream. It swam right towards the shore, didn't it? Well, come on in then. That's less than a kilo. Yeah, so we're one away from hitting 12 now. I like seeing those red worms come in. Maybe we'll end up having a really good night and get up 200 silver, start heading in the right direction for our next purchase.
right. Love to just hit another, a big one. All right, so that's 12 over a kilo. Even if it's not trophy size, just see one that's like four kilo plus, you know? I mean, we already had the 3.9 or whatever, so we were close. It's just bream after bream right now. Too small. So we are seeing sometimes the smaller ones seem to come in on the size eight hook more often than the others, I guess. What are we at? 42.9. Once we hit 50%, we can start doing inline, and we probably would put points in line. That's going to help our trophy chances. I do have these on Pattern Oster, don't I? Nope, this one's on Basic Bottom. Let's change that. He just doesn't really want to come in. There we go. Yeah, we got him now. Ah, that's a nice one. 2.3. coming. I don't know if that'll help or hurt. 6, 12, 16. Yeah, we're going to hit 18. I think. wonder if we'll have a lucky cafe order. I think I already said this, but we are at 17 meter clip. There's 43% bottom.
Another one. Wow. What time is it? 6.30. All right. This next in-game hour, this is where we're hoping to hit at least a couple more big ones. 6, 12, 18. We're at 19 right now. 19 over 1 kilo. It's a little small, I think. Come on, where's the big boy? That's not even a bream. Get out of here, Crucian. I don't know, the storm might have messed us up a little bit, but I mean, it's still been an excellent night but it definitely petered off a little earlier than it normally would. Now we can see if it goes a little later than normal because of the storm, but 
and the rain. I feel like I'm getting farther and farther left here. We want to be more like casting here. Oh, that's a big crucian. If it's going to be a crucian, we want it to be that size. Look how much XP we've gotten just from this one night of bream fishing. We're definitely going to hit 16 long before we have enough silver to hit 16. another pretty good one there. I mean, the bite rate's definitely been best on the size 8 hook, but we've probably also caught smaller, some of them have been smaller ones like this one. I would normally have stopped by now. I'm wondering though, with the rain and the cloudiness, if they might still be some decent ones left. Yeah, it's not bad. Small. Although we're still getting points in bottom fishing on some of these, which is great.
Okay, so what did we end up with? 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 22. 22. That's pretty fantastic. Oh, this could be 23, unless it's not a bream. Oh. Okay, then. It looks like a bream to me. Total weight caught purse day record. All right, it's 10 a.m. This might be one of those spots you could just sit here all day and still occasionally catch decent ones. I don't know. You could switch to pearl barley during the day and maybe occasionally catch, you know, some roach mixed in or something. You don't want to sit here all day getting hammered by common carp if you're not geared for it. I don't know that that would happen, but you might run that risk a little bit. All right, we went through just over a whole stack of bream ground bait in one night. That seemed like a really good night of bream fishing overall. Let's see if we get rewarded with a lucky cafe order. Oh, we did, 31. So 31 silver plus 145. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, uh, that's a pretty dang amazing whatever, like, 40 minutes of fishing. I mean, holy cow. That's awesome. Okay. All right, there you go. Bream fishing. So we've got our spot. I really think that's our bream spot right now. So the trick will be figuring out if there's anything else we want to fish for during the day some, uh, or just how repetitive I want to be with hitting that same bream spot. But I'm hoping we can continue to level up bottom fishing closer and closer to 50%. Like I said, if we hit inline, I'll throw some, you know, a point or two in there try to up our chance of trophies that could help as well but um yeah really good productive episode here 255 silver not bad at all we're building back up okay thanks for watching i'll see you next time tight lines